Hello everybody, welcome to a new adventure on the Farming Sim SWU channel. We're in Brazil. The map is called Recanto de Alvarada. Apologize if I said that wrong. Recanto de Alvarada. So this map here is based in Brazil and has some crops on it that we're going to really utilize in this playthrough. As we walk up to this one right here, we can see these are coffee beans. We don't own this plot of land. This is one we're going to be looking at as soon as we can, as fast as we can. We want to buy these fields. Let's hop in and look at what we own right now. So if we come over here, click on farmland, we own plot 81. And we have a fuel station, we have a house, and we have a water tank. As far as fields go, we do have... Let's get the timer on. We do have a soybean field here. I believe it's soybeans, yes. But it has some weeds in it. So it would be nice to get something to be able to treat the weeds, which we do not have yet. We'll go over the equipment here in a second. Wow, that bird is loud. Great sounds added to this map. And then we have this field here that looks like it was corn, but it needs to be replanted and flipped into a new field here, a new crop type. Uh, what do we got here? What does this do? Is this how we buy stuff? Okay, so we could buy diesel later. Very nice. And here we go. I, I, you know, I don't even know how to say that. Burr? Burr? Let's see how you say that. Let's look it up. Let's look it up. Let's be professional. Burr. 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 According to the internet, it's Burr. I think this is a cool tractor, though. Tractor speed. And then we have the little grain cart there. And then in here, these are things, you know, I, you know, I debated. I debated swapping them out for more equipment that we're used to. This disc here will allow us to cultivate. Then we have this Massey Ferguson 3670 here. A nice planter. So we'll be limited to what we can put in the fields. And then we have the top liner. We have the Dutzfar top liner, which is like base game, right? The cheapest base harvester you can afford. We have $100,000. Haven't decided what we're gonna do about loans. I wanna try to prevent them you know, right now we have $100,000 and a good cedar would probably be worth buying so that we can progress here. Uh, so we'll think about that, but I do want to start off with cultivating that field if we can, we can get in here. Oh, automatic starts on. Let's fix that. Uh, we want the economy at normal and I want crop destruction off. I want periodic plowing on. I want field stones off, lime on, weeds on. Normal, automatic start off, stop and go braking. Keep the brakes button held to brake and automatically start reversing. Mm, mm, we'll try that for a little bit. Trailer fill limit, nope, we'll do normal for fuel usage. And these we're gonna shut off. All right, let's save that. And I do not have precision farming on this playthrough. I thought we'd go just normal old style of playing here. Let's get this all cult cultivated up here. Should take care of some of the weeds as well. 11 miles an hour on this, that's not bad. We do have the speed override mod, but we're gonna use that very limitedly in this playthrough. This is just gonna be an enjoying Let's Play series with the goal in mind of building a coffee empire. And there is a building where we can roast the beans after harvesting them. And that's absolutely the goal is to get to that point. The building is kind of expensive if I understand, but we'll take a look at that in a second. But this is our first field here, doing some work. Gotta get work done. And then we'll take a look at the contracts and see if there's anything we can do to help speed up our income process here. We'll leave it up to you guys in the comments. What should we do for loans? Uh, if we do anything, I definitely want to use the advanced loan system where we can control the interest rates and the term of the loan and not do the base game loan system. But I don't want to rush it either. I want to take our time, enjoy playing Farming Simulator and get to the point where we're a coffee empire when we get there and enjoy this map. It's the, the color scheme of the dirt, of the foliage. It's pretty sweet. I'm really digging it. So this looks to be problem number one, is these are not getting torn up with the discs here. Um, 
we could potentially oh let's see what options we have here allow fields maybe yeah that'll take care of it okay we'll continue on one thing i do want to bring up while we're getting this cultivating done is we've partnered with g portal and we now have a community server a public community server that is crossplay enabled right now the there is no mods on it if we do add mods they'll all be crossplay compatible to get access to the server right now all you have to do is join the discord Server information is available. If you can't find it, just message us on Discord in the general chat, typically in our farming simulator general chat. And yeah, I'm hoping to start getting that going. Eventually, we're going to have a members only special public server as well that would have a lot of mods and we'll customize it. We'll get that running. I got to get that all set up. But definitely want to say thank you to G Portal for for partnering with us and getting us that ability to give that to you and uh yeah also in the description if you're interested in your own g portal server there is definitely a link for 10 percent off your first purchase check it out and we missed just a tiny spot we'll get that fixed but first field all cultivated very nice now if i mentioned at the beginning you know i wanted to do a let's play just playing the game and just enjoying farming simulator it's such an amazing game and we get caught up in kind of our content we're trying to create and all the role playing we've been doing to where I kind of just miss mindless, not mindless, but just sit back and relax and play the game and show off some features while we're doing it. It's kind of what the plan is with this playthrough here. Let's go ahead and get this put away. Try to do a really good job of keeping myself organized, not leaving things out like we do a lot, not rushing myself, just enjoying some some gameplay here so let's go ahead and shut that off for a second we know we need to take care of weeds we need weed control we need some type of control for lime over here it's gonna say needs lime yep this one probably needs lime as well but it's too late with the crop in the ground boy that's a loud bird so fertilizer what is our we have let's write a planter that does fertilizer so that's good so we could plant soybeans we have that in the field already and corn sunflowers sugar beets cotton and black beans which is a thing on this map but let's take a look at what month it is it is february so we could plant wheat corn sunflowers sugarcane cotton poplar grass Oil seed radish, and that's about it. So black beans looks like it's September and October. February through April, we could plant wheat. We could plant canola soon. Looks like wheat is a super quick turnaround in Brazil. So we would plant it in February. We'd be able to harvest it in June. Our soybeans, what is the state of our soybean field? It looks like we have a couple months still. That's going to be towards the end of the soybean harvest so probably april is when that's going to be ready and looking at the color is it going to be ready that's going to be interesting it might not be huh we'll find out but it is february we need some money so let's go ahead and take a look here at spreaders let's do sprayers first yeah so i didn't add very many mods actually didn't add any mods at this point we'll slowly add them over time but this is our first bet here, and we have money for that. So that would be pretty good to go with. And then as far as spreader for lime, this one just used fertilizer. So we'd have to go up to 45,000. So 45,000 plus 35,000, that's 80,000 right there, not buying product. So let's look at contracts real quick. We have this one to harvest. That's a good one. We're going to borrow the items for that. And it is field 53. So let's uh, let's get started with that. We'll grab this beautiful Case IH Harvester here with a nice size header with GPS on it. Okay, not a bad setup here. Let's get the header attached. Get out of the way of our tractor there and our grain cart. Let's see where we're headed. Field 53. Looks like it is this big boy, and where are we at? We're up there, so we're gonna turn right 
And we're going to basically take our first right once we get to it. Okay, from the Jack Toe dealership here. Okay, these roads are skinny. Let's get our get our hazard zone on there. Our four ways. Boy, this map is pretty. A nice change of scenery for what we've been playing on all American maps. So, going to Brazil. This is awesome. And thank you for everyone who voted for this on the community page. When I first saw it suggested, I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. It's kind of OP doing co uh, coffee. But then I found this map that has it as a crop and not just a greenhouse or, you know, just a, yeah, the greenhouse or a little type of garden thing that you can just grow beans super fast. So this definitely made me excited to do this playthrough having a crop that we can harvest. And we haven't even shown the thing, the thing that allows us to harvest it. The Jackto K3500 here. It's pretty sweet. So as you can tell from that machine there, they're very much like grapes, which will be fun. And then once we get the production, it'll be sweet to have roast roasted coffee. Oh, what is this farm up here? This place looks cool. So let's find a spot. This field looks like, what do we have here? Is this cultivated? Plowed? Fertilized, okay. So we'll go ahead and use this and park in it. Seems safe for now. And we'll drop the header there, start unfolding the harvester and get this header attached if we can line up correctly. Now let's fold that up. Oh boy. Not a bad piece of equipment to start our first contract with. Look at this header size. But it's a decent size field too. This harvest is gonna be pretty quick for about eight grand. Yeah, the red clay reminds me of Little League when I was playing baseball when I was a kid. We had a lot of fields in Arizona that had the red dirt on it. And I remember uh, how filthy our uniforms would be after playing and that, that red clay that we used doesn't come out of those uniforms very well. I'm sure my mom had a fun time washing all those jerseys and uniforms for us. All right, let's get this harvest done. All right, we're going to set up GPS here. Whoops. Uh, Alt C enables that. And then we're going to hit Control S. Auto width here. I like to click on here and go for heading. And I know we're heading in 180 degrees right now. So 180 and 0 would be our two. So let's back up so we can see our lines here. Yeah. So if we lock in right here, enable cruise control, we'll go perfectly straight. I don't know if we did very good back there, but when we turn around, we'll know. So we'll now we'll hit Alt-Z to disable that. Lift up, loop around, get lined up again. The guidelines I like to use just to get started. And then once we're going, I'll disable those guidelines because they're not very good for the video visually. But there we go, you can see it's lining itself up. We'll go ahead and hit left Alt-L, shut off those guidelines. We'll clean up the little area that we're probably going to miss here, just a hair when we get down to the end of the field. But that'll allow us to be pretty accurate with our harvesting. And in most of these harvesters do have this type of guided steering technology built into them these days, especially something like this case. So that's why I love to roll with these features. 
Oh, so we'll go here, we'll go Alt-Z again to disable that. Alt-Z also enables it, locks in your GPS location. But we'll go ahead and lower down here, clean up this little spot. And then it's just ups and downs to finish this field. One headland should be good enough for allowing us to turn around everywhere on this field. It seemed, it seemed like it's a pretty open field, so we should be good. But 80% full, we're gonna have to go get the tractor and the grain cart here pretty quickly. Go ahead and get lined up here. You can see now the numbers on the right. We want to lock in at plus two and lower it. Whoops, messed up a little bit. And sometimes, you know, you're already locked in, so just back up and it'll straighten out a little bit better for you. And then we can cruise directly straight down our guided line. And if your wheels aren't straight enough, the GPS does kind of fail to lock into place. So straightening your wheels before you lock it in is usually what I have to do. And now we're gambling here. We're going to be able to get across and back without it being full. I think we'll be okay. It says we're 40% done already. That seems a little high of a number, but we're going to harvest the whole thing because if there's leftover crops, we'll make some extra cash. And I thought... Oh, we just about made it past on this pass here. Let's go ahead and hop in here. Grab the JCB and the Strotman trailer here. That all hooked up. And we'll head on over to that field. Start getting it unloaded. The fast track is so fast. 45 miles an hour. Beautiful tractor. Did we miss our... No, it turns up here. Right at this dirt road. Man, we might target getting this tractor. It is so smooth to drive. All right, we are back at the field. Start getting this unloaded so we can get back at it. I'm guessing we're going to get about two and a half hoppers full on this field here. Boy, that's pretty. That is all done unloading. Let's go ahead and sneak back in the harvester. Whoops, close the auger there. Get back to harvesting. Boy, we gambled here with the auger on the wrong side. 97% full. We're going to have to back out to unload, it looks like, because we're about to fill up. I thought we had enough to be where we would turn around, but it's going to be close. Oh, we got it. All right, let's go ahead and raise here. We'll loop around, open the auger, and then we will might as well lock into place on the next one back up to about right to where it straightens out and here we go so 14,400 plus 14,400 28,800 liters oh, where are we there we go so it'll be interesting to see on this map how much of this extra oats we get to sell and make profit ourselves really banking on these contracts to help us escalate our progress of buying the equipment we're going to need as we look in here this one at 306,000 and planting I don't really want to buy that one that has existing uh where, where is it at productions orchards yeah these are 130 each so I don't really want to buy the one that already has them on the ground we might delete those I just feel like it's part of the process here and let's see if we can find this production or can we just place the production? Coffee factory, yeah, it's, I think we want to place our own. There's probably one on the map we can buy, but $265,000 there, you can see this playthrough is gonna be, it's gonna take time to get where we, we want to go, especially starting with $100,000, economy's on normal. We don't have all the equipment we need. We don't have a lot of land. It's going to be a fun process here. And the last little section finally getting done with this harvest. We'll see how much money it makes us. It's going to be really exciting to see and kind of just 
while I'm doing this process here, was thinking about how we look at this game as kind of funny. It's like we I looked at this contract and it was nine thousand dollars to harvest this big field, and in my head I'm thinking, is it worth it? Where in reality, in real life, if somebody gave you the opportunity to harvest a field this size, paid you nine thousand dollars plus a little bit of extra product. So maybe it's up to like twelve or fifteen thousand dollars. You're not gonna hesitate. They're gonna let you use their equipment too. Pretty sweet. All right, let's get this unloaded. Then we'll find the location to sell it to. Let's go ahead and hop in the map here, or the menu. We're going to grain storage two. So let's try to find that. It's probably blinking, right? Is it not blink? Oh, there it is. Grain storage two. We will tag it. So we're here. So where was that main road? We get back to the main road and follow it that way. Okay, and we're all unloaded. So let's head on our next venture to get this sold. 40,000 plus liters of oats, of oats. Easy for me to say, of oats. Kind of looking through here. Is there a dirt road that we can just scoot through? It doesn't look completely like it. So we will take the main road. Man, the palm trees are a nice touch. Very pretty map. All right, so it looks like there's a turn here. Yep, this is our turn. Slink around this way, and this should take us right to the selling location. All right, we've arrived. Let's see what kind of profit we make off of this contract here. Sell the oats for him here. Money should start going up any second now. It's like any other contracts we've done. And there we go. All right, 3,000 extra dollars. Let's hop in here now and let them know that it is complete. And we're sitting at 110,000 bucks. Let's grab the Massey Ferguson. And I think we want to prioritize our existing field, get the yield as good as possible. Let's check fertilizer over here. Uh, it's not fertilized. Okie dokie. All right, so I think the sprayer is what we're going to want to go with. So let's get to the store. Where is the store? Let's see, right there. Where are we at? So we'll come out our dirt road. Uh, we can head up that way, maybe? Yeah, we'll try to just go and find it here. Nice dirt roads in this farmland. Just see some potential properties to buy out here. When we have money, might be a good place to put the coffee set up. Yeah, so it looks like we can take a right here and sneak our way over to the to the store very nice not bad proximity to the store for where we're at so it looks like we get to hop inside here and do some shopping hello everybody let's first take a look at used equipment see if there's anything that would be beneficial this little guy what does it plant interesting no previous cultivating it's kind of small but it does fertilizer and planting for us oh no it doesn't it just does planting. Ah, uh, yeah, let's pass on that. All right, we are here to take care of our weeds. So we're gonna buy this. We'll go ahead and buy it. And we're gonna need some fertilizer and herbicide. Let's get some herbicide to begin with. So we'll just do that. We'll buy the fertilizer later on. So there they are, waiting for us. Real nice and snug up against the wall, huh? We'll have to get some ability to maneuver around pallets too in the near future. Get this all filled up. We'll have to leave the pallet here for now, but let's hope this is enough to get the spraying done of our field and see if we remember how to get home. All right, let's unfold this tiny little field. This is this equipment is definitely gonna be good enough for that. Oh yeah, definitely enough capacity. Crop destruction is off. So we should be okay. And I don't, there should be enough growth stages to get the fertilizer in a better state. So we'll spray the weeds, we'll buy some fertilizer, go pick that up. We'll spray fertilizer on here. And then we need to figure out what we're gonna do for getting a crop in the ground in our other field. Those are the plans for the rest of February. But March, we'll get the second application of fertilizer put down on this field. All right, fold it on up. I think I'm going to try to get close to the fuel station here and unload this. Yeah, about right here. We'll go ahead, unload it. No space to unload. How about here? How about here? Okay. All right, let's go purchase some fertilizer. 
come back and get that sprayed, and then we will evaluate what we have left for spreading lime and potentially planting some seeds. And we'll get our fertilizer pallet purchased, so it's there when we get there. Very nice, down to $70,000. To get this opened up here, there's a tiny little field. It's not gonna make us much money. That's gonna be the first thing is expanding. So we're gonna have to find a way to get income to increase. All right, we got that all unfolded. Turn the soil a nice dark color there. Now, I know with precision farming, we don't have to fertilize soybeans is it that way so yield doesn't is 23 percent over here we're now showing 45 percent so yeah fertilizing absolutely helps okay let's back up get that little spot we missed and continue on all right let's shut it off let's just double check here fertilized um is that the weeds that are dead yeah yeah okay so we got a little tiny sliver we missed let's grab that let's just do it let's just grab it i think if we go oh we can see it we can see it Oh, there we go. Fold it on up. And we'll leave the fertilizer in here because that'll be the next thing we use in the sprayer. So not bad. We still have almost a thousand liters in here. Now, if money becomes tight, I guess we can get rid of that other tractor because if we need money more than we need a second tractor. Let's head back to the store now. Lime is the next thing we need to think about. We could just skip liming this time, but I don't know if we want to do that. We're going to go to the store. We're going to look at our costs, see what we can afford with $70,000. We might have to lease something today. All right, we're already making a mess at the store. A couple months, we'll get a front loader, figure out how to how to take care of that. All right, let's see in here. We know used didn't have anything unless we bought this one, which I think we're going to pass on. It's so small. So let's look at spreaders. We know 45,000 is the cheapest we can get away with there. If we look at plant cedars now, we get three for that. Oh man. Okay, maybe, maybe it does make sense to purchase this used. Okay. And then we have $47,000. Let's go back in here, and I think we are going to lease this. Uh, we don't need the extension. Uh, if we're going to lease it, we might as well, right? We don't need that. Uh, let's just do that. Yeah, we don't need the cover. The cover's just going to add extra cost. We'll lease that. Super cheap. We'll go in here, get some bags of lime. I think we'll do... I don't think we're going to need a ton, but we'll grab four just to be safe. We still have about 42000 bucks, so that's okay. We still have to buy some seed. So we have three jobs left today. We have to get the fertilizer... or get the lime put down, come back, buy some seed, get our wheat planted, and then spray fertilizer. And it's already two, almost three o'clock, so... We gotta get some going. Go ahead and get some lime laid down. Go. At some point, I'd like to buy GPS on this as well. We have cash for that, but is it wise to spend it now? I don't know. Hopefully 8,000 liters is enough for this little field. Uh, the way it's going, not too sure it is. That's 800 liters already. That's 10% gone already. All right, let's get it done. Okay, we overbought big time. We only needed to buy 4,000 liters, but we will have the lime for later on. So let's go ahead and find another spot to unload this lime. Gonna be three of those pallets, I believe. So we'll come over here. It seemed like this was a safe area, apparently. It went right in the middle. Okay, let's go ahead and return. Well, we're going back anyways. We'll drive and return it, buy some seed. Seems like the lighting's starting to change a little bit. I'm worried February in Brazil. Is the sun going to set early? I don't know. I would assume it would it would be somewhat summer-ish right now below the equator. I don't know. That was the right turn. Let's take these stop signs out with us. Yeah. All right, we are going to pull in here. We're going to have them inspect the machine that we're returning to them here the implement and we're gonna hop right here as well and customize spend fifteen thousand dollars and return the fertilizer to them and we'll have to grab our weight probably yep oh while we're in here i think one bag of seed will be enough let's see what the capacity is here is it gonna hold the whole bag it is hopefully this is enough 
A tiny little, tiny little cedar. Never use this one. It'll be fun. We are going to do wheat. Pretty much the main thing we can plant right now that we could harvest without buying a header if we wanted to plant corn or something. All right, let's lower. Oh, no, that was the weight we lowered, isn't it? Okay, let's switch to the back here. Lower this. Turn it on. We'll do the headland and then we will enable GPS to help us finish this. Oh, yeah, that's tiny. It's tiny. We got a good deal on it, though. Pretty busy first day on the on this new playthrough. Absolutely loving it. I'm so glad we decided to do this. All right, we did three headlands here. I think that'll give us a decent amount of space to turn around up here was really my concern and why I did so many passes there of the headland. So now we already showed it, so we won't show it again of setting up GPS, but we're going to get that all enabled and that'll allow us to start cruising up and down this field right now it's just a couple spots to clean up we have plenty of seed left over so the purchases have been pretty good so far not really wasted much money besides a little bit on lime but we can live with that so let's get this little spot over here as well and then we'll get this sprayed and that'll conclude february all right we'll fold this on up we're gonna try to sneak through here i think is where i want to place this for now oh we hit the wall there we go. And we will come up to about right here. It's still under cover. That works. And this should be plenty of fertilizer. Go ahead and open it up here. Oh, we do have GPS now. So let's go ahead and auto width this and show our lines. And we could find a good look direction for this field, but I think we'll just we'll hold course on zero and 180. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, a little bit of wasted product here, but that's the way I play. I love it. I love this game. Turn that off. Go ahead and loop around. Slow down just a hair. Get locked in. Turn it back on. Cruise on down the field. And for this last pass, we will just drive on our own. Right there, got all of it. Then we'll cruise on over. Oh, there's a tree. Oh, that tree messed us up. Got a little excited there. And loop around here. Pretty good. And I think there is a little spot that we missed up front that we could snag on our way back. Yep, right there. We'll go ahead and turn it on now. And we are 100% fertilized. I'm going to leave this on the tractor overnight because we are going to use it first thing in the morning. So once we have clearance, we'll sneak in here and park right on the wall. All right. First day, pretty exciting. Got a lot done. We're going to hop to March, get all of those little couple chores done and take a look at contracts here. Let's rest. Oh, that's the wrong thing. That's the wrong thing. Do we have a sleep? button at this building so this is oh do we have to go oh we can go inside no shot okay does this one open just this one huh that's cool though all right let's wake up in the morning all right we can see we have our two states of fertilizer there and let's look at yeah this this isn't gonna be ready no way what why that didn't even change it did a little bit I guess one state, but I, I'm a little concerned that we're not going to be able to harvest this and it's going to wither or it's going to take all the way to the next calendar year. Because if we see, we only have April to harvest it and then December again. That'll be interesting. All right, let's see over here. We have some weeds and fertilizer to take care of. Rolling would have been nice, but so yield bonus is showing up at 44% here as well as here. Let's look at contracts. I'm not sure if they disappear on here like others. Okay. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll take a look at that in a minute. Let's take care of our own fields. We'll start with fertilizer here. Some rain coming too. So this is where I really feel like GPS will help us because I don't know if we'll be able to completely see everything. All right. Go ahead and do that. 74%. Or, yeah. 61% left, 70, uh, 740 when we started. So let's see how far this gets us. Wow, we missed, missed the tree that time. And that should leave just a little sliver in the middle. 
Oh, it's good. All right, we'll swing on over now and do our soybean field that I'm worried we're not going to be able to harvest. This is really going to mess up this playthrough. But we will find out mm, in a few months. I guess next month we'll find out what's going to happen there. Oh, man. Kind of sad, but it is what it is. Oh, we went way too wide there. Loop on the inside here. A little bit harder time seeing the color change with this growth state of the soybeans. So we'll just overdo it here. And then once we get here, we'll take a peek at the map. Did not take, huh? Interesting. Uh, I don't know why. Maybe because it's too far in its growth state. I don't know. That could be the problem there. But we'll go ahead and empty this out. If we turn it this way, it'll go to our right. Not enough space. There we go. And we should be able to use the same exact track on GPS to spray the weeds. And here we go. It's going to be really sad when we discover that the crop calendar doesn't work. We might have to shut off. Yeah, that might be what we do. If we shut off seasonal growth, that might fix our problems. I'll do some testing on the save file. Well, all of our chores are done. It's only 8.30 in the morning. Not bad. All right, we'll find a contract to do to help us out financially. But other than that, there's not going to be a lot for us to do for a few months now. Yeah, let's look at this growth stage. So if this was actually... Why is it... Oh. Okay. No, no, no. Okay, so this one has a couple more growth states left. No way this calendar is right. No way this is going to be ready in June or August. Might be ready in August. But if they planted soybeans in September, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, should be fine. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there. Let's look at contracts. That's a big machine. Weeding, spraying, plowing. Let's harvest some canola. What field are we going to? 13. And that one is right here. So we'll want to come out dirt road. Okay. I elected to not put on the header on the trailer because I'm lazy. We'll see if we regret it. Apparently I was looking at the wrong field. Let's look at the contract again. It says field 13, but why is field four flashing? Field four is flashing. So if we go, am I looking at the wrong thing? I am. We have field four. Oh, jeesh. Okay. All the way across the map. Okay, we found our field. Let's go ahead and get lowered, turn it on, start harvesting a little bit smaller than the last field. So this shouldn't take as long. It's nice to be able to use all this equipment. Oh gosh, I'm loving this playthrough so far. Just nice, relaxed time to just get to play Farming Simulator. All right, almost two times around the headland here. And this is an interesting shape field where I'm tempted to just kind of do circles while we harvest. But we got that first one done. Let's go ahead and grab. What do we got here? Claws? Claws 6650 in the grain cart. Hopefully all of it fits uh, in this tiny little grain cart. All right. Let's travel across the map again to go empty the harvester and get back to harvesting. And I think uh, staying on the road is going to be the fastest route to this field instead of cutting through like we did with the harvester. This one's pretty good. It goes 32 miles an hour, 33. But keep that in mind. I like speed. It always cracks me up how on video games, game, uh, vehicles will start coasting downhill instead of going faster than their maximum speed. I always thought that was kind of funny. You should let it go past the maximum speed if gravity allows, right? I mean, real realism? It's all video games. It's not just this, though. Oh, no, the rain has hit. We're going to have to take a look at the forecast and see how long we're going to have to take a pause on this harvest. All right, here's our turn here. Go ahead and head over to the field. Get that unloaded and then we'll need to take a break, I guess. We'll cover up the grain after we have it in the cart. Not ideal, but we don't have anything else to do. So a nice lunch break right now. It doesn't sound too terrible. Let's take a look at the forecast though. Yep, through the lunch hour it looks like. So we'll get this unloaded and covered up and skip some time. Still unloading. We did skip the time there. Turn this back on and back at it. Kind of doing the most random passes to do this field. It just kind of mixing it up and it's uh, hasn't been super efficient, but it's been entertaining. You can see we have this little area back here left and a little bit up front that we're going to do. 
But since we're so close to the green cart, I think I'm gonna go ahead and empty right here. A little bit off there. A little bit off. There we go. All right, back at it. We'll get this area finished up. See how much money it brings in. This map's pretty neat so far. I'm enjoying the heck out of this. All finished. There's a couple spots that we're gonna pick up because I'm money hungry and I want as much money as we can get from these. So we'll get our little extra dollar right here. And then I think there is one more spot. Yeah, right, oh, there's two of them. Let's go ahead and raise real quick and go grab them. Might as well, let's see if this even gives us a leader. Nope, let's see if this gives us a leader. Nope, that's kind of funny though. You'd think you would get at least one leader from every little piece that you do, but not how it works. All right, hopefully all this fits so we don't have to make two trips. And I don't think it's gonna. Let's see. Yeah, a little bit left. So let's find where we're selling this and we'll come back and get the rest afterwards. We're just gonna drive towards the triangle or the little explanation point there. Some really cool areas in this map. I, I appreciate it. Are we going to be able to get up this hill? Oh, struggling. Six miles an hour. Rut row. Five. Are we going to do it? All right, we're picking up speed now. I think we're okay. I love the orange balls on the electrical lines. I haven't seen those in years. We used to have those in Arizona when I was a kid. That's so cool. Such a nice touch. All right, how do we get into this facility here? It's go to the main road and find the gate it looks like all right loop around and find the location to drop these off we'll just uh, do a little RPing here and drive over the way station get us wait in there and then it looks like this is the facility okay drop this off our money should not go up at first if this is the right place. Perfect. And 94% transported. So that little bit that we have left, ooh, hopefully it's enough to finish the contract. Let's go ahead and head back and pick up the rest of that grain. All right, hopefully there's enough in here to finish the contract. Not really concerned about making money. Was it, it wasn't empty. Oh, we must've shut it off. There we go. A couple thousand more liters in here. Yep, 21.95. Head on back to the selling location and see if we have enough to finish this contract. Now, an interesting little aspect of this map is a lot of these cut down trees with the stumps remaining. I think it's a great idea because it, it prevents me from cutting through some areas like it just did there where I ran into it. I'm impressed with this map. All right, here we are. Last little bit, please, please finish the contract for us. And we got a little bit of cash, so it did. All right, all is well, all is well. We'll go here. Collect our money. We're sitting at $31,000. We got a couple fields planted here. Oh, did you hear that? I didn't realize it actually made sense. This is well done. I'm digging this map a lot. We got some wheat growing, 71% yield. Yeah, we gotta, we, gotta, we gotta improve that. And then over here, we have 45% yield bonus and it would not take our second application of fertilizer so we are where we are two months done i'm socks way up thanks for hanging out let me know what you think of this series any suggestions you have of things we should do i'm thinking seasonal growth is going to get turned off it's probably the only plan of change i have and we'll add some mods over time with for implements and tractors and all that so i'll catch you on the next one